Welcome back to CSE 3200 Yukon Stores. We're well past the halfway point now, heading into chapter 14. We're gonna be covering dialogues and dialogue fragment with the purpose of enabling the button that has been disabled this entire time. We're gonna mink it so that when we click it, it's gonna send us to a fragment that looks like this, where we can choose a date for our crime. I plan to cover the first two objectives in this video. We're gonna create a date picker fragment class and build a date picker fragment. You're going to right click on com.bignerdranch and make a new Kotlin class. Call it date picker fragment. I've already done that. We're gonna make it a subclass of dialogue fragment. And that is the proper import. We do need parentheses, okay. We are going to override fun on create dialogue. When we auto complete, we're gonna get rid of this return statement. Now we are overriding the on create dialogue as opposed to say the on create view because the dialogue itself, as you might expect, kind of like a toast, is responsible for its own image, for displaying itself. Inside of this fun function val lowercase calendar is equal to uppercase calendar dot instance, get instance. Okay, so the reason that we need a calendar is because we want our, our date to have uh, a year, a month, and a day. And those need to be passed in as ints. But um, our date that we're using right now is more of a timestamp and can't handle that directly. val initial year is equal to calendar dot get and then in parentheses uppercase calendar dot and then the constant year. Uh, we're going to do the similar things for the month and the day. So we are going to have initial month be calendar dot get calendar month and one more initial day is going to equal calendar dot get and this is not as guessable as the last one day underscore now it's guessable because you have options day of the month Okay, now we erased a return statement when we started this. We're gonna put in our own return. We're gonna be returning a date picker dialog. Import. And we are going to have a fair few number of uh, parameters here. The first of which is a context, which is gonna be required context. Um, this is the listener, which will be null for now, but we'll change that in a bit. And then our initial year, our initial month, and initial day. Okay, um, so whenever we use the date picker dialog, we want to put it inside of an instance of dialog fragment, which we did with that code. You can see it here. Uh, we have our date picker dialog wrapped inside of a dialog fragment. We could do it otherwise. Um, we could find a way to just display that calendar. Uh, but we won't have nearly as many options as if we are using a fragment. Fragment is a, uh, a tool that's now 
uh, well developed in the Android studio and in the community. Um, it also is going to run the risk of just disappearing and never being able to fetch it. So if we would have a uh, a day picker dialog displayed and we did not have it wrapped inside of a fragment and we did something like a rotation, a state change, then it would disappear and we would never get it back. All right, so now we are going to go into our nav graph and we're going to add the date picker fragment and we will change the ID to the, um, the verbose uh, default to ID select date. Uh, in Navgraph, we're going to go to the design view. We are going to add a new destination. We're going to pick our date picker fragment, um, drag it over here. Uh, we are going to connect our crime detail fragment to our date picker fragment. We are then going to go back into code, find that attachment, find that new ID. Here it is. ID action crime detail fragment to date picker fragment and we are going to change it to select date. And finally we are going to go into crime detail fragment and we are going to get rid of this code here which disabled our button and then under update UI, we are going to go crime date dot set on click listener. Get rid of the parentheses and we are going to put in curly braces, find nav controller dot navigate parentheses crime detail fragment crime detail fragment I want the directions version but I'll pick this one get rid of the args and put in directions and then dot select Let's run this and see what it looks like. All right, so let's go into our toxic lunch and see if we can't change the date. Uh, we hit this button and we get to navigate to our calendar. Uh, let's say I pick um, March 21st and then I click OK. And notice, and this is not surprising, that this has not changed. And that's because although we have now set up this activity, this fragment, sorry, now that we've set up this fragment to get us from one screen to the next, we've not done anything with changing the data, which we will do in the next video.